Do you get intimidated when you listen to the word stock market? Oh, you from a non-finance background. Don't worry, main hu na. With over 15 years of my teaching experience, I have designed 7 plus courses where you can learn from the basics of stock market to the most advanced concepts in the most simplified way. No confusion, easy to understand step by step lessons. Gain knowledge, gain confidence. Enroll now. Hey folks, see you Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to yet another Thursday live stream. My god, today has been a crazy day. I was out of town. Uh, I was celebrating Diwali vacation with my family members. Came back today uh, in the evening and then uh, we have to go out uh, at 8. Uh, so I thought that rather than giving a holiday this Thursday, let us try and prepone the Thursday live stream. And that is the reason why today we are here at 7:30 only, 7:15. Uh uh kya baat hai still everyone those who are our you know every thursday live stream people everyone is right here i can see all all the names now i remember parth's name as well uh, rajesh is absolutely there ranjit is there uh, ganesh is asking us lokar kaisa kaya exactly uh, you know i had i had some uh, commitment at around i have to leave my house at 8 and that is the reason why i thought that just in case if i'm not able to come back on time Uh, why give a break for the Thursday live stream? So that is the reason why I thought that let us do uh, a live stream at a shorter notice, but at 7:15. And that is. It. I hope you are getting the notifications. I hope you have joined the broadcast group as well. Uh, Pooja, I'm sure you might be there uh, in in this uh, live stream. If you can just post the link of the WhatsApp uh, group, uh, the broadcast channel, basically WhatsApp channel, so that whenever there is some change, we generally post it on the channel as well. Uh, so that you get to know right away uh, so those who have just uh, i mean those who have not yet joined the whatsapp group or the whatsapp channel whatever uh, you can do that right away uh, puja you can just paste the link there uh, dr yashwant hs says happy to see you in bangalore hashtag nas summit kya baat hai uh, good i'm i'm glad you attended that uh, <laughs> ranjit ji says appreciate our commitment we are shami of team crr kya baat hai absolutely uh, I mean, Shami's performance yesterday was mind-blowing. Seven wickets, um, and I think that was like a higher high that he is setting for his own career graph. And now it will be interesting to watch for our markets whether we are able to hit higher highs or not. And that is the reason why we are going to start right away with our technical analysis, our technical analysis for Nifty. Uh, but before I kick start with that, uh, just to quickly tell you that yes, Pooja has already pasted the link of. our whatsapp broadcast channel and please join that so that just in case if we have to make any announcement uh, you can immediately get to know about that um so let me just quickly share my screen and tell you okay before before i share my screen one more thing uh, those who were there on the 12th uh, wherein we discussed about the nifty levels do you remember the level that we had discussed on the 12th and we had said that okay we have to really closely watch out for that xyz level and if market is about is is able to close above that level then we can see a sharp rally of 200 points easily and uh, that was discussed during the mahora trading session and i think many of you who are here uh, i had discussed about that level uh, you know the key level ravi ji that was not 19800 no nope. anyone else can remember i See, whenever I say it's a very important level, write it down. This, that, and Parth has given the correct answer. The correct answer was nineteen thousand five hundred, and uh, Siddharth has also given the correct answer. It was nineteen thousand five hundred. Uh, I am going to show you the sh- chart of Nifty, and uh, then we will discuss how the nineteen thousand five hundred level was honored and what happened after that. Okay. Kya baat hai? Many more people have Sai Ram Ganesh. Everyone is giving the correct answer, nineteen thousand five hundred. So. it's all about technical analysis right more and more you practice more and more chances of you getting uh, your analysis right uh, it keeps on increasing so love doing the analysis uh, feels good whenever the analysis uh, is is proven to be correct okay so uh, let us start with the analysis of nifty okay i'm going to first take you to the daily candlestick first uh, let me first show you about okay 
this is the range that we have been discussing. First, let me just quickly close off the pivots as well. Yes, this was the level that we were discussing. Uh, the lowest point that we had seen, 18,800. I, I told you one third installment at this level, and I had already done that. Uh, second thing, if you remember, on the 12th, this was the 12th, and I said 19,500 is really, really crucial. We have to close above that. If that be so, 200, 250, 300 points sharp rally from there is easily possible. Immediate next day, that is on the 13th, it did not happen. Nifty was not able to sustain above 19,500. In fact, closed just a tad below 19,500. 19,443 was the level. Next day, it opened at 19,651 and closed at 19,675. And today, it has closed at 19,765. So if you are talking about points above 19,500, we are already 265 points above the 19,500 mark. Feels very good that whenever we do some sort of analysis and that is proven to be right. Okay, so that, that is it about the last analysis that we had discussed. Now, let us come to the pivot level as well. Now, what are we seeing right now? Uh, I'll just quickly delete this line. See how beautifully R2 was respected. R2 is at 19,881. And today's high was 19,875. Okay. It went up till there, took a resistance at R2 and came back from there. So I think this is the immediate resistance that we will be able to see. It will be really, really important to see if we are able to close about this level 19. It, it's not about this, just touching that level, crossing that level and coming down and closing below that. That's not important. What is important is even closing above that level, right? Uh, so I think this is a super crucial level, 19,881. I would want to round it off to 19,900, okay? Uh, will we be able to close above that right away or not? For that, we need to check few more data points okay has it clearly given a resistance here today answer is yes okay has it seen some resistance in the past now if i were to just get that line back again okay so i had drawn this line in the past as well once it took this as a resistance second time it crossed but immediate next day failed one more time same one here here there was a gap one two three four so multiple times even if i were to just take this a little bit down maybe so that you can you know get a better view of the last few days. So this is 11th October, okay, 11th October, just one month ago, took a resistance at this level, which is 19,841, okay, not once, not twice, three times, four times, okay. So 19,800, 19,900 seems to be some sort of choking level. Uh, will it be immediately able, I mean, will it be able to cross this level easily or not is the big question now. But like I told you, on a daily candlestick basis, at least uh, on a daily chart, basically it is showing some sort of resistance at R2, 19,881, that is 19,900. Now, if I were to take 200 demo, if you remember, it's way below the current level. So, I mean, no point checking that. If I were to check the 50 demo, still it is way above that level. If I were to check the nine days moving average, still it is way above that level. Now, let us check about the super trend. And if you remember, I told you that, yes, once it closes above this level, then the super trend will turn up green and it is in a bullish trend right now. So is this a good sign? Answer is obviously yes, it is in a green trend. It is in a bullish trend. Okay, so this is a good point. Agreed. Now let us also understand what about the MACD and what about RSI. So for that, let me just pull up the MACD chart for you. In green, nothing so special. Uh, if I were to check the RSI level, RSI level is at 61 right now. Pretty much comfortable. Uh, if everything is right, 60 is a good level of acceleration, okay? Pace is good. RSI at 60 above 60 indicates that the pace at which market may go can be really, really good. So if some, some key level is broken, it will just zoom up. That is the indication for that, okay? But for that, we'll have to check out the weekly chart as well. Now, have a look at this weekly chart. Again, same, same level of consolidation. And if you remember last to last Thursday, that is October 30th, <coughs> somewhere around that, whatever, exact date, Patani. Uh, here we had discussed about a chart pattern, which was nothing but a bullish harami that was being formed, right? And a bullish harami at the end of a downtrend is nothing but an, but an indication that yes, a bullish momentum can start, right? That is what we saw two weeks back to back. Previous week, we saw a gain of one and a half percent. This week till date, we have seen a gain of again 1.25%. So a pretty decent enough gain is what we have seen in the last two weeks. 
Now, if I were to understand what is the scenario here on a weekly candlestick basis, R2 is at 19,681, which has been cleared today. Okay, 19,681 19, has been knocked off today. It will be really interesting to see if we are able to close about this level even tomorrow because that will be a weekly closing also. Okay, so this is again really important. And if this be so, then there are great chances that we may move towards the upper end of this channel, which of course not directly here, but the immediate previous closing basis high was 20,183 something. And that is the reason why I had given the title of this live stream as 20,000 soon, yes or no. But even before all these things, we also need to understand what is the Nifty auction chain data showing right now? Uh, is there some is there some resistance that can be seen or is it a clean way uh, up to 19,900, 20,000? What is the scenario? Now, there is some very interesting data here. You can see at 19,900 level, okay, 19,900 level, 105,386 is the OI. It's a huge OI being built up at 19,900 uh, 19, level. And if I go back to the daily candlestick pattern, here you can see R2 is at 19,881 and that is exactly where we have taken a resistance today. So based on technical analysis also 19,881, let's round it off to 19,900. Option chain also is showing the same data, 19,900, huge OI and out of 1,5,386 open interest, 78,246 is the change in OI. So huge number of calls are being written at this level. And that is a sign which is showing that, yes, markets can see some serious resistance at 19,900. At a lower end, if you can see, puts are being aggressively written at 19,700 level. And again, if I go back to the daily candlestick chart, 19. so if you see here, R1 was at 19,642. If I round it off to 642 or 700, then this 200 point range, 19,700 to 19,900, basically R1 and R2 is a range that we have to watch out for right now. If 19,900 is broken, then I see again, same, same point that I told for 19,500 level. So just focus one more time. If you remember at 19,500 level, I told you the same thing. That if 19,500 is broken, if markets is able to sustain above that 200, 250, 300 points rally, just like this can happen, right? Same logic I'll apply here as well. If 19,900 is broken, 20,000, 20,100, this 200 points rally, I, I think, is very easily possible. Can also go up to 20,200, okay? Uh, can that happen right away is the big question. And for that, we have to also check not only TA, not only option chain data, we also have to check some macroeconomic data points. And for that, I'm going to take you to inflation data that came up for USA, which is really, really, really important. Uh, we are going to discuss about that. Uh, so I'm going to just going to quickly share my screen and have a look at the trading economics site now. If you see here, this came up as a very, very pleasant surprise. Uh, it was expected that it will come down, but from 3.7 to 3.2, that was a very, very nice data point that came up on Tuesday. Okay, so US inflation cooled off, was taken up very nicely. And that that was the immediate, that immediate reaction was shown in Houston. Why? So these are the bond yields, right? Uh, again, for those who have some interest in economics, we can see this very nicely. See the beautiful relationship between inflation data points, yields, and markets. Okay, have a look at this. Okay, from 3.7, inflation cooled out, cooled down to 3.2. Immediately, if inflation comes down, ideally, yields also cool off. Now, we should check what happened in the yields on Tuesday. Ideally, yields should have cooled off, cooled off on Tuesday, right? So, this is the Tuesday candle, and you can see huge drop, 4.11% drop immediately, right away on Tuesday itself. Next day it recovered a bit, but again, whatever recovery was seen, that was given away immediate next day. Okay. Now that was Tuesday. So if we see here in our markets, Wednesday, the reaction should be seen here and back to back two days. So inflation data coming up good in the US, 
was reflected here. Of course, Tuesday was a holiday uh, for our markets. It was uh, Dipavali Padwa, and that was the reason why uh, markets were closed on Tuesday. But of course, the reaction should have been seen on Wednesday. And Wednesday, we saw a positive sign, and also Thursday, a fall of reaction. A same reaction you can see in Nifty IT. Let me just see Nifty IT. Achha, sorry. I said, what's wrong? Now, if you see here, Nifty IT, 2.59% up and 2.69% up. Back to back, sharp candles. So, all this is nothing but pure economics. If you understand this, you're going to love this. And if you really want to understand this, if you want to, you know, uh, if you want to learn about all these things in a very, very, very systematic way, that, that is, uh, I think that will really give you a whole, uh, you know, whole, whole new perspective about the markets. It will give you more confidence while you enter the markets. Uh, and that is, that is nothing but our economics for stock market course. Uh, you can definitely check that out as well. Uh, so, Pooja, if you can just paste the link of economics for stock market, and uh, she has, she's really prompt, has already pasted that. And Diwali is, by the way, the last day to apply this coupon code is tomorrow. Tomorrow, the coupon code will expire. This was uh, a coupon code which was given only for Diwali. This is a special discount code. Uh, again, I'm repeating, uh, this is available for all courses, be it English courses, be it Marathi courses, uh, be it Tamil, Telugu, Kannada courses, all on our website, rachnaranade.com. Uh, don't forget to use this coupon code before enroll, enrolling for any of the courses. Last date to enroll using this coupon code, special coupon code is tomorrow. So if just in case if you want to enroll, don't forget to apply this as well. So now uh, the big question, 20,000, ca can it be pulled off? I feel yes, but will it be pulled off immediately? I have certain question marks. Uh, inflation data has come up really nicely, but I feel 19,900 resistance might not be broken that easily unless and until some good news comes up, an additional news we want. And if that some some additional news comes up, then uh, yes, we can we can cross 20,000 also. But I mean, I, I wish market proves me wrong. Uh, and, and if that were to come really quickly, I'll be really happy to see that. Uh, yes, Ranji Ji is also talking about the Santa rally. Uh, I have made a separate video on what is Santa rally concept that happens in the month of December last week. Uh, and if that when the Santa rally should take you to 21,000 Ranjitji, why only 20,000? <laughs> right? So uh, it'll be really interesting to watch. Uh, my, my personal opinion, yes, it should cross 20,000. But within a week uh, for that, we need some additional trigger uh, that we, we are really not sure about today as I speak. Some good trigger if, if that comes up uh, should be really, really good. Um, if I mean, let's see, let's see what happens to Nifty in that case, uh, right? Well, before I move on to one more important uh, data point, uh, some some stocks that I just wanted to show you on technical analysis as well. Uh, before that, quickly welcome uh, welcoming new members: Ashitosh, Sushan, and uh, P P Nidu Gondi is also a new member. Ashok is a new member. Welcome to memberships. Uh, all right. All right, ekis hajar kashabun. Okay, um, right. So we are going to discuss about the the uh, charts. A few charts I'm going to quickly pull up for you. Uh, so first one, if you remember, I had discussed this in a separate video on our YouTube channel, and the thumbnail I remember of that uh, video was this stock is down by thirty two percent. Anyone remember that? The thumbnail title was this stock is down by thirty two percent. It is a company which has got something to do with airports. I'm going to give you clues. Let me see it. Let me test your knowledge. Uh, this company has got something to do with airports. It uh, provides, I mean, the connection can be immediately established with airport lounges. Uh, we had discussed about, yes, kya baat hai? Sanjit ji and Tashu has, have immediately given the answer. Kya baat hai? Sairam has also given the answer. And the correct answer is, Dream folks, absolutely fantastic. Purna has given the correct answer. Hari Harana has given the correct answer. Kya baat hai, kya baat hai. Our, our members are like pro like them now, right? Everyone has given Dream folks as the answer. Uh, Murli has also given the correct answer. Fantastic. Okay. So, uh, Dream folks was the stock that we had discussed, and the stock was down. The results were not great at all. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I had done that video after the Q1 results were out. Okay. 
Now, uh, some interesting uh, stock. So again, let, let me just quickly show you uh, the chart so that you also get to learn a few things. Mm, I'm sharing my screen. While I share my screen, of course, everyone knows whatever charts I discuss, these are not stock recommendations. We are here to learn something new. Okay, we are here to discuss something. And if that be so, no, no question of taking this as a stock recommendation, right? So let me just clear off a few lines so that it will be easier for you. Uh, I keep on doing some analysis and that is the reason why my, my charts become really rubbish. Okay. Now, if you see a day one of listing, okay, day one of listing, the high. Now, if I were to just pull this also for a, for a second. So the high point of day one of listing was 548. Okay, I'm repeating. Day one of the listing high point was 548. Now, if you see here, since then it went down, 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 down. Uh, a kind of a U was formed. Okay, it, it did cross the level of 548 on 24th May 23. By the way, this was... So almost means almost seven, eight months from, from there. It, it did cross this level. Now, if you see here, after this level was crossed, it tested it once, almost twice, almost third time, almost fourth time. And after that, it saw a good rally. Then it knocked this level again, again once, twice, broke this level, started going down and down and down and down. And by the way, this day was 16th, August 2023. And since then, the stock has not been able to cross that same level. And today, today, it has crossed this level. Okay. I'll be really honest with you. I came back. Uh, I had been to a place near Kolhapur, which is in Maharashtra. Uh, I came back today evening. And uh, that was the reason why I was not able to go through this stock in detail as to why this stock gave an 8.5% rally today itself. I'm not sure about any news which came up. I'll just see. This is 3rd November latest news. Dreamfolk Services launches travels in. If anyone gets to know about any specific news point here, please let me know. Uh, some stocks, whenever I cover in our YouTube videos, uh, I generally add them to some you know watch list so that I get to see whether some action can be seen there. And today, while I was uh, just preparing for the Thursday live stream after I came back, I saw that, oh, this is a big candle. And then I was just trying to see which are the levels for that. And this was the level which was a really crucial level. And today, finally, it has closed above this level. Okay. Now, what will be important to watch is this gap. This gap is a huge gap. So, if I were to just tell you, this was the result day. Okay. Earnings day. So, if you see here, this candle itself was 15.69% down. And this immediate next day back to back is also a huge gap down. Now, if you see here, this was the closing. This was the opening. This is almost 11 percent ka gap okay so this is the window again so let me just draw a line here this is a window okay and if this window is also crossed the third window i mean this is the opening up of the window right this is a huge gap that can potentially be covered okay you have to understand the reasons why the stock was down Again, I'm telling you, I'm not I'm not giving you any targets on this one. This is what we are learning based on technical analysis. How can you check which are the levels for any stock? Okay, this was the day one high price that has been taken out today. Uh, the second one, this, this is called as a gap theory in technical analysis. Okay, now if I give you analysis, if I give you examples like five years ago, 10 years ago, they'll sound boring, right? I remember when I was a teacher, I used to teach MBA finance students, I used to teach CA students. And my classes were used to be like, super full uh, other teachers used to complain that you know these days mba students bunk classes and for me i used to complain that there are less number of benches in the classroom because some students have to stand at the back of the classroom why because i used to give give them real life examples i used to give them latest examples and students used to tell me that tell me that ma'am because you give all the relevant examples all the latest examples that is the reason why we feel that oh we are getting to learn something in real time okay that is the reason why i show you charts which are of relevance today and not like five years ago and 10 years ago, right? But please don't take this as a recommendation. Do your own analysis and whatever. If you feel this is a rubbish stock, please don't go ahead and buy it. If you feel based on your analysis that, okay, this is good, then you can take your own decision of buying it, right? So this is again an interesting chart to watch out. So 
definitely do watch this out keep this at least add this to your watch list so that you get to learn more and more okay one more stock that i was checking out uh, based on you know i told you about the it index right it index has shown some good rally and again i was checking the gap theory today right so based on the gap theory now let us also understand Achha, by the way again this gap theory i've taught in technical analysis huh? there are also different types of gaps that you need to know so definitely you have to invest in knowledge there's no other doubt on that so if you see here this was again the earnings day of wipro i'll just draw a line here okay this is the earnings day and this was what 18th of october and this is 19th of october this was the closing and this was the opening price correct it's a green candle this is the opening price now have a look at the price dip or in the percent in percentage terms from here to here almost a four percent gap right now if you see here this is like it's not an exact w because for a w to be found it should have come up till here but not every time it will be textbook uh, cases okay so ideal scenario it should have been like this sort of w but like i mentioned not every time will this happen uh yeah Just give me a second. Let me just quickly raise this. Okay. So this is kind of a W, but yes, kind of a double bottom. Uh, and then in this case, this could be the neckline that we can say from T. This could be the neckline. Okay. So big congestion here uh, sideways. And from here, we can see one breakout and second. Now, if it has already sustained above this level today, now if this be so, one more sustain, if we can, it can also sustain here. Next one will be ideally bridging this gap okay but to bridge this gap this is a barely 10 rupees come move it's it's actually not barely 10 rupees come move it will translate to almost what two percent from here two three percent from here two and a half percent okay so this gap again this is the gap theory okay now let us also try and see that whether these left since what time has wipro been at in this same level okay so i'm just pulling out some data let me take the weekly chart now have a look at this this stock has been consolidating now so first thing we learned was the gap theory okay that is done second thing now we are learning about consolidation we have to check out stocks which are in consolidation zone are there certain reasons behind consolidation yes the results of this company were not up to the mark please find some time go to screener Check out the results. Their results have not been great. Neither Q1 nor Q2. Okay. Achha, I'm sure there will be some people who might not find time. Uh, or maybe the effort might lack. So I'll just quickly pull out the data also. And let me very quickly tell you that the results have not been that great. If you see here, 22,540 uh, was September 22 and September 23. Almost same level. 22,540, 20, uh, 22, 22,516. In fact, a tad lower only. Okay. Uh, operating profit margin from 17% to barely 18%. 3,420 or 3,509. Not that great, right? Even if I'm talking about this was YOY, if I'm talking about QOQ, Q QOQ sequential, sales are down, uh, operating profit is down, PBT is down, okay? And that is the reason why it's not showing up in the prices. Question is, with lowering inflation in the US, with lowering yields, with IT index now showing some positive signs, very early signs, but yes, some positive signs. Can this move is just a question. But the problem is this stock is still in consolidation. See, which is this level I'm talking about? This is around 400-ish levels. And this is around 380. 380 to 420. It's the 420 winning year, to be honest. Not every day. Closing basis for the hard leader has gone at 420. So you can see, by the way, this is what, 12th of September 2022, 12th of September 2022, one year, this stock is in the same zone, just three weeks back to back, it was out, done. Yeah, maybe a little bit, like four or five weeks, it was beyond this range. And it is at a lower level right now. So very interesting, it will be to see if it is able to go above this and sustain. If it does, again, will be interesting to watch. So you can also add this for your own analysis. So this was something new that I thought of doing in today's live stream. Otherwise, you know, uh, we restrict ourselves to Nifty data, to macroeconomics data. 
just tell me if you uh, loved this uh, like so this was very close to what we do as an analysis in our blogs i hope you, everyone is aware that on our website rachnaranade.com we have a separate blog section uh, we do write about two stocks per day just to teach you about different chart patterns how they pan out uh, you know uh, how different chart patterns are formed and uh, we always say that you know you have to keep this on your watch list do your own analysis on that i hope everyone is checking out the blogs uh, just give me a quick yes or no uh, if you like this new edition about uh, analyzing one or two stocks based on technical analysis uh, if you like it then i i can continue this uh, in our upcoming live streams as well pooja in the meantime has given the link of the blog so don't forget to check out the blog as well kya baat hai park says loved the analysis thank you park Ravin is also saying yes, 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 yes. Many yeses coming up. Fantastic. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Tashu says I read the persistent systems blog. Fantastic. Okay. Everyone is saying yes. Nice. All right. So we can continue that in the upcoming live streams as well. Uh, feel good. Keep on trying something new so that uh, I can also share some extra analysis, some extra knowledge. But uh, there is one thing which is never extra on our channel. and what is that any any way if i give extra macroeconomics extra technical analysis extra this extra that one is always in dearth never even up to the mark but no likes here exactly <laughs> purna has got it right murugeshan has also got it right 1100 people watching 400 likes You never encourage me, never. Subramanya says today RBI has increased the risk weightage of risk weight of banks. Yes, yes, it has. Uh, if I find uh, time, I'll try and do some more uh, some blog also on that. Uh, I will do that. Uh, Ravi ji saying why is live stream so early today? Uh, Ravi ji, I have to go out at eight eight fifteen, and uh, that is the reason why I I said rather than giving a holiday, let me. you know pull up the live stream earlier and i hope you are uh, a part of the whatsapp broadcast channel so that you get to know whatever changes are there so ravi ji saying camps breakout rounding bottom on daily weekly and monthly time frame oh let me check camps okay let me first go to the one month time frame We also share my screen. Uh, uh. Not a pure rounding bottom. It's November twenty-one. Not a textbook rounding bottom for sure. this is more like i can see this more like a w formation on the on a weekly basis so if i were to draw this have a look at this so one oi kya ho gaya so i want to draw this maybe from here one and ideally till here two okay so i want to draw a trend line like this what's wrong alt t okay what's wrong with my mouse not a very textbooky thing but uh maybe something like this but yes there's a breakout for sure can see a breakout and double bottom formation pattern from the lows to the neckline place it on the neckline possibility good but this is not this as i mentioned this is not a rounding bottom candidate and we can also check out for um 
the Fibonacci retracement. On F from the highs to the lows. 50% retracement will happen at 2,964. Looks good. Looks good. Would be interested to uh, do a little bit more analysis as well. Okay. Uh, Balaji saying early stream today. Put more likes. Uh, Kalpik says uh, Nifty made crazy moves today. Is this a common feature of expiry days? Yes, on expiry days, there, there are wild moves typically. Kesha says, would be really great if you can make a video of Tata Technologies IPO. Chalo, Kesha, done. We'll do a video separately. Just in case, uh, just to give you some basic points, I'm sure everyone might have read this, but uh, the price band for Tata Technologies IPO has come up at 475 to 500 rupees per share. And the IPO is going to open on Wednesday, 22nd, and uh, will close on 24th November. That is Friday. Okay. Uh, it is a complete OFS. 100% OFS and Tata Motors is uh, is going to offload 11.4% stake. So you can imagine, I just, I was just, because I have not done a whole, I mean, in-depth analysis, but when I read this in the news that Tata Motors has 11.4% stake, which is, which it is going to sell in the OFS, I was just wondering, it'll be interesting to watch what, what was the acquisition price of uh, Tata Technologies for Tata Motors, if it was very low, then I can just imagine the P&L uh, for realized gain after the sale of shares. There, it's like a one-time thing, but Tata Motors P&L can see a big bump on the upside uh, because of the OFS. So it'll be really interesting to watch that as well. But yes, definitely, it's a good suggestion. We'll do a separate video on Tata Technologies IPO. Okay. Any other quick? <laughs> Thoughts on REC. Kya hi bolu abhi mein REC ke mein? We have been discussing this talk so many times and I've given enough disclosures that it is there as a part of my portfolio. Uh, this talk is just not stopping. I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, but I mean, now people are asking me, is this a good time to enter? It can be crazy. Uh, I'll just show you the latest analysis that I had done. See, every... I keep on doing my own analysis like whenever I find time. Uh, it's not possible to share my analysis every single time I do it. Uh, but we just quickly want to share this was the latest analysis when I added a few more quantity. Uh, if you can see here, this again was a classic example of a double bottom. Okay, Ideally, double bottom is really, really effective at the end of a downturn but or a down move. Okay, This was nowhere close to a down move. It has been in an uptrend since a long time. So here you can see. I'm just quickly going to draw it for you, but something like this, W, okay? Uh, and again, from the bottom to the neckline, and from the bot and from the neckline, we added up here. So uh, this voltage, and almost, almost got it, uh, sorry. So I have added some quantity uh, when the neckline was broken. Sorry, just, just, did not hit my target by a tad. Uh, the target for that I had set was 348.75 and high here was 345.15. Uh, but it's almost almost there at my target price. Uh, adding fresh quantity here can be a bit challenging. I would want to wait now. Uh, I mean, I, I, just don't, I just don't want any correction in this stock. But uh, can be really tricky. I mean, I'm also not adding huge quantities at this level right now. Uh, now that it is very close to my uh, target price. But I mean, so many new things are happening in this stock. I've made a separate video on REC that what, I mean, what's up with this stock? Why, why is there any new thing that is happening? I've made a separate video. Please watch it. Puja, if you can again paste the link uh, of that video here as well. Uh, that will give you a good insight as well, right? Nitin, welcome to memberships. HAL again. Uh, okay, a very, very interesting video I'm going to release day after tomorrow, which is about the defense sector. And HAL finds a mention in that video. Okay, please set your reminders. 
please be a part of the WhatsApp broadcast group. I will paste the link of that video as well on the WhatsApp group. So beautiful video. Uh, I mean, I should not be saying this about my own video. Uh, I, will, I will be biased. But sometimes, you know, uh, based on our own analysis, sometimes we only feel happy about the analysis that we have done. And uh, I think it's a compilation of a lot of data points. Uh, so we definitely want everyone to watch that video. You will get some good insights as well, right? Uh, so do find time to watch that video. Um, Yogesh, member for 40 months. Kya baat hai? I am a banker. I can't stay at home. Banker to everyone. SBI. SBI is a good thing. Yogesh, you can't Okay. Uh, cup and handle pattern breakout. HAL. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Not a textbook one. Uh, but it's already at such, such, I mean, super all time high level. Again, pretty, pretty crazy to enter at this level. I am, I am not entering at this level. So, can't see a clear cut cup and handle as well. Mm, just last one or two quick questions. Tashu is saying, ma'am, when are you coming to Chandigarh? Chandigarh. But yes, I mean, I don't know. I don't know is the correct, I mean, is the current answer. Uh, we'll, we'll try to make, make a point and come to Chandigarh. I am. I will plan something nice in 2024. By the way, our channel completes five years in 2024. I started my, I started our channel in 2019. February 2019 uh, was the day. Uh, 12th of February 2019 was the day when I posted my first ever video about basics of stock market, part one. And in the next three months, we'll be hitting five years on YouTube. So maybe 2024, I should do some more Bharat Brahman, and I should cover more and more cities. <laughs> Raviji is saying, I'm also telling her, Tashu is saying, I loved this comment. We can arrange event for ma'am. What's say Raviji? Fantastic. I love this attitude and I love this uh, enthusiasm. Uh, this will be great if you all can only, you know, plan something. I, I just, I just do need to come, take the mic, talk to you all and then go back. I, I, I don't want to get into arranging the venue and, you know, all the admin part, if you're, if you, if you can take care of, fantastic. Why not? Okay. Super, super. Yes. WhatsApp link has not yet come, please. At the WhatsApp link, you can share Puja again, uh, number one. Number two, very important. Oh, good, you reminded Pooja, uh, Purna. Uh, Zoom meeting, yes. Zoom meeting is scheduled. All those who are learners uh, on my, any of my courses, this is the first time, Acha, one more update, quick update. This is the first time that anyone who has enrolled for Triple M course, Mastering Money Management course, or the uh, uh, Marathi course, which is Arthik Vyavasthapana Che Saptapadi. If you are enrolling for any of these courses, uh, if you have already enrolled for any of these courses, this is the first time, uh, this Saturday, this is going to be the first time when <coughs> you will also get Zoom link invites uh, for our Zoom meeting. The Zoom meeting starts at 3 o'clock. The, the schedule for every uh, course is different. You should be able to see the Zoom meeting link in your own courses tab. Okay, if you're not able to see this, if you're not able to check out uh, the Zoom meeting link, please write an email to text support at the rate rachanaranade.com wish to see a lot of people uh, during this zoom meeting this is the email id you should be able to see the zoom meeting link it is between three to six i have divided the courses so if just as an example three to four will be the marathi courses uh, four to five will be the beginner level uh, courses and five to six will be the intermediate and advanced level courses okay so three zoom meetings scheduled this saturday uh, 18th from three to six and that is the website. Uh, so that is the email ID just in case if you don't find the link, right? Uh, so don't forget to check this out as well. Uh, anything else? RIL and HDFC Bank are bouncing back from lows. Yes, they are. Uh, Reliance is definitely pretty much interesting right now to watch. Uh, uh, this is uphill task. 5 million subscribers before 5th anniversary. Very uphill. Uh, let's see. Let's try and get 
get there, but seems a bit difficult right now, to be honest. But we'll try. <laughs> okay, I think uh, I think all done, almost done. Um, <laughs> Jubilant food come up jaiga. Iske pehle na main upar chala <laughs> Love this comment. I know, right? I mean, Jubilant has been testing the patients like anything, like anything, absolutely. Uh, I mean, even I'm high, I should not be saying this, but I'm highly irritated by the movement of Jubilant Food Works. I, I'll just give you a quick example. I had been to uh, India-Pakistan match in, in Ahmedabad. And believe it or not, uh, the food stalls uh, were, were overflowing. There were three food stalls for Domino's Pizza. They were overflowing. And whenever they were bringing fresh pizzas, they were getting sold out in like 5-10 minutes. I've gotten to know that Jubilant Food Works or Domino's has a stall in almost every single match. But still, the share price refuses to go up. I mean, the numbers also are not that encouraging, that is honest. So let's see, uh, let's see what happens with that stock. Even I'm not happy with the numbers. I know. I share the same feelings, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, Kalpak says, thank you for the early live stream. Have a good evening. Enjoy the World Cup final on the weekend. Yes, everyone, please enjoy the World Cup final. And uh, we all will cheer for India. And let's keep our fingers crossed. And this time, I hope we will be getting the cup back again in India. Right? Uh, Manoj says, ma'am, looks like PSU Bank is taking a step back before resuming or what? We have discussed about PSU Bank's... Uh, in on the 12th uh, that is that was a mora trading live stream uh, so please please watch that stream as well it was i am sure that will give you a good perspective about psu banks as well raviji is right so is irctc that is also patient, testing our patients jubilant and irctc they are the they are the ones who are testing my patients like anything <laughs> right i think a lot of people okay okay i think we are done it's eight o'clock i need to leave uh, but i am so happy that i did not cancel today's live stream uh, instead of 9.30, I pre it, sorry. Uh, but uh, it's great that you all have already turned on the notifications. You are a part of the group so that uh, whenever I have to schedule anything, I have to change the schedule anytime, uh, I can just immediately tell. Uh, Coal India, Karthik, I've not, uh, I've not checked for a long time. Uh, maybe next time I'll try and check it, okay? Siddharth has officially declared that we are going out on a dinner date, maybe. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> but yes, uh, we'll, we'll try uh, for Siddharth. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'll see you then. Uh, it was great talking to you all as always. Uh, and I'll see you on the next Thursday. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye-bye.